<laughs> yeah. Hang on, where is the 3D model? There it is. Um, but if I go to the scene setup. Don't break it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been worried this is going to crash the uh, the After Effects each time I. Yeah. Oh, that um, is so cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Yeah. The good thing is, is that the provided model came with all the textures. So oh, okay. the only thing I did was, or well, the textures were all sort of matte finish. Um, okay. And there were some things, sort of, if I was looking at the actual sort of reference photos of the uh, machines, um, it's obviously metal, uh, mm -hmm. the metallic finishes. So um, things like this, this sort of metal piping here, um, I just cranked up the glossiness of it and the reflectivity up to 70. Okay. Um, and it just sort of, it gave it this shine uh, in the final one. You can see here it's it's a little yeah, bit yeah. more, uh, as you can see the light sort of reflecting off it, um, which again, it's little things, but it just yeah, and you've got to do brings it, to it together. Well, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I think it's a lot of the, a lot of the things that make this look good are just messing around with the render settings. So if I yeah. turn off the ambient occlusion, uh, you can see the shadows go. It doesn't look bad. It just yeah, it's a adding it. Effect, but... It just gives it something. It's always nice to have some realism, isn't it? Because things, yeah, it can be so stock and mm. generic. I think it's nice to have a bit of character. It's a bit yeah. of light coming down from a certain angle. It's nice. No, exactly. I think if I... Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, this section... Yeah, that's, with... improved. that's improved, isn't it? That's, that's... Yeah. So you can see the, there were shadows here. It's The lighting was, um, lighting was used. Uh, you've, you done a different, you've done a different camera angle as well. 